Heroes. It is Super Lenny back with another speed build today. Today I am doing a base game craftsman. Uh, you can see here that I did the layered foundation trick that I did in my last video. I'll link the tutorial that I got it from again just in case someone hasn't done it or hasn't seen it yet. And I really like how this house turned out. I had kind of like this idea for the layered porch making kind of like it the focal point of the entire house like this person clearly just wants to like you know have this outdoor space where they can really see and actually this is part of me rebuilding new crest i'm doing a whole neighborhood that is like modern craftsman style and they are gonna all be base game uh this one i never kind of realized how pretty this neighborhood was i feel like I don't play in this lot a lot and now that I've seen it, it actually has a really pretty view both directions. I don't show it the other way because I had the mansion that I built that will be coming up eventually up in that lot. Either way. Now uh, I have a big, big lot coming up. I did a 64 by 64 lot. It is a fall theme so it should be coming up soon. It's a longer video. I've been trying to cut it down. I mean, I had like six hours of footage from building this place because it was just so big. So uh, I was just wondering if anyone has any opinions because I don't know if I should ramble for 20 minutes or if I should just, you know, cut it off part way and just have music going. Should I make it two parts? I kind of don't really want to make two parts. I feel like that's kind of irritating. So I was thinking more like I talk for some of it and then music comes in might be the way to go. I don't know, I can try and ramble for that long. I don't know how well that will work. Also yesterday I was fighting the biggest venden vengeance of re-recording my audio because the first time it just, the audio I had was not right and so I wanted to re-record it and normally that's not a problem for me but there's construction in my building and they were making a lot of noise. I mean, they have to do their job. I understand, but they were like slamming doors and stuff and they woke up my baby and I was like, please, <laughs> for the love of God, just don't wake her up. Either way, it's okay now. I think they're still working, but they they did some drilling this morning and now they've been quiet, so I'll take it. Uh, This is just a new, I was doing like more layouts. I've been playing around with a lot of layouts. I know I've mentioned that before, but... I just keep trying to change them up a little bit because I found like I was stuck in a box and as soon as I start doing things out of my comfort zone, I find a lot more creativity starts flowing and I start coming up with better ideas or more fun ideas doing something different instead of constantly having the same thing. So when I play with the floor plans and make these different ones and put the room where I didn't think it would originally go, I think it really helps because... I really debated with that front room being the uh, either the living room or the kitchen and I ended up being like, hey, I'm going to make it the dining room and I actually really like it and I put the kitchen in this like weird triangle area. Um, I kind of just set it up so it was like a really nice window view like they wanted to be able to see out kind of situation. Oh, another thing, I played around a lot with the editing at the screenshots and you'll see that at the end. If you can give me an opinion on that, I'd really love it because it is a lot more tedious for me to do it that way, but I really enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna keep it, but if people hate it for some reason, I will, what's the point of me putting in all the extra work? I think it's kind of fun. I think I'm gonna keep doing it unless a bunch of people said they wouldn't watch because of it. I don't think it'd be that deadly on a lot of people watch screenshots anyway. <laughs> Uh, I did keep the color scheme relatively simple. I tend to do that for a lot of, like, uh, modern builds. You can't, like, because I could have dedicated, like, a huge pop of color, but then, you know, it's not to everyone's taste, and I feel like uh, people have a lot more opinions when you do heavy coloring. Um, and this way you can just change the furniture to whatever color yourself. I also find that some of the colored swatches, it takes me a lot longer because then I'm trying to find, you know, plants with pots that are similar colors and trying to find carpets and drapes that match so if you go a little more neutral you can just add a lot more. 
I put in that poster of Bob Cam- Pancakes. I do not regret it. It will stay there forever. I love Bob Pancakes, and he belongs there. <laughs> uh, again, this is me playing with the layout, so it's kind of, like, inconvenient to have, like, diagonal rooms, and but I don't think it- I think it, like, actually kind of works well when you see the room that I did there. It ends up being the toddler- toddler's room. Yes, there is only one bathroom. I don't think it's- I couldn't really fit one downstairs without messing up the whole floor plan. It would have ruined the whole flow of everything. I also think that like this was like a fun room. I really like using those dividers. I don't really see a lot of other people use them, but I feel like they help kind of break up spaces so you can put more things in the houses. Because my big thing is, like with The Sims, you know, you have to put a lot of furniture to fill up a big room. And these dividers are a great way to kind of make the furniture flow without it being awkward. I don't know, because you can get those rooms where it's just like, why is there a random couch in the middle of it? See any EA original build that comes with a pack, like the Strangerville houses. Oh my gosh, I was looking at that one mansion, and I know I think it was Sim Guru Romeo had made it, and he was talking on the Sim Supplies channel, James Turner. He talked about how it was supposed to be like, oh, they're selling off their furniture, but they didn't even mention that in, like, the character's arc or anything. Like, it's completely not mentioned. So you just have this house with, like, no furniture or, like, there'll be a really small room with a bunch of furniture and then these huge rooms that have absolutely nothing. And you can just completely fill out the space a lot better with the same amount of objects. I mean, it won't be completely full, but it won't look so empty. It was like painful. I mean, no harm, no foul, I guess. Like, I'm just gonna rebuild it anyway in my world, so. That's another thing. I haven't done a Victorian in a while, and I do Victorian builds quite often. I have quite a few on the gallery. Um, there's quite a few base game ones. I've got, I think two or three base game Victorians. So I'm kind of itching to do one again, so I'll probably do one in Strangerville. And I've done a Victorian Strangerville one as well. Also, I played with the landscaping here. And normally I tend to do like very full foliage, like top to bottom. But this time I ended up trying to do spaced out, more modernized landscaping. And I'm doing it in the whole neighborhood and I really like how it turned out. I'm, again, I gotta get out of my box. I gotta try and push myself out there because I feel like I do the same thing over and over again and then I end up with 50 starter homes on my gallery, which I definitely did not do. I definitely did not go for building constant starter homes. I did. I did. I I really did. Uh, it was <laughs> It was a phase and I still really love building starter homes but I think I made like five or six in a row. It was just a big phase because I find I could like get out of my box if I started doing the same thing repeatedly. And then I got in too much of a box and I built nothing but starters. I made a little, um, my descriptions on the gallery are kind of where I go on tangents a little bit and where I just talk about anything and ramble a little bit. And I, on the one where I ended up being one of the last starter homes I posted was a call out post on myself where I did the entire speech from Taken, except it was just about me making sim starter homes. Oh, I'm filling in some clutter here because I hate how the shelves are so, so similar, so it looks a little too, I don't know, uniform. So I'm just putting in extra stuff so that it doesn't, I don't know, look so bland. It looks a little more lived in, I guess. It's not, I didn't add too much clutter, but I just add enough to like, I feel like level up the build a little bit. I don't know. I could have done more. I Some houses I go overboard, some houses I don't do enough. This one I feel like I was trying to do just the right mixture. Either way, we're just about done here. Time for some screenshots.